Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to design an about us page for your Shopify store. I'll be showing you how to make this cohesive, minimal about us page that introduces your brand and includes an FAQ section and a contact form. The about us page I'll be showing you how to make is adaptable for many types of Shopify stores. So whether you sell beauty products, clothing, hair, and just general items, you can follow this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, to get started, you're gonna open Shopify and click online store, then themes. Here, you're gonna click customize and open up your Shopify website. On another browser, you're gonna open Shopify and then click online store, then pages. And I'll be adding a new page. And you can title this your about us page. And you wanna make sure that this is visible, then click save. Here on your Shopify website, you're gonna click this little home page icon, then click pages. And you're gonna open that new default about us page. And this is gonna be our base so we can start designing the about us page. I'm gonna click add section and first off I'll be inserting an image banner and this is gonna be a little introduction picture to the about us page. This step is optional but I'm gonna click on this little title and I'll be hiding this but you can leave that visible if you would like. Under heading I'm going to title this about us and for this you can title this about us or who are we. For the button labels you can actually remove one of these if you want and you can retitle this top one then you can link it to a page or a product collection within your website. For now I'll just be removing this button label. Then if you want, you can insert a little welcome text for this description. Right here under first image, this is where you can upload a picture if you would like one picture to display as the background. And you can also upload a second picture and the, both of these images will display side by side. Here's an example of one picture. I'd recommend uploading two to create that double collage. When you click on this image banner, right under banner height, I'll be setting this to large. This way it will display the pictures fully. You can also set it to adapt to first image or to small. Right below that section, I'll be importing an image with text. If you would like, you can retitle this button label and insert a link leading to either a page or a product collection. I'll be removing this button label. And for this section, right under image is where you're gonna upload your picture. And for this section, I'll be titling this our purpose. For an example, you can do this as our story or how we began. And if you need a quick way to write your brand description or your about us text, you can use free writing tools like ChatGPT to write your brand description. And I'll just be pasting in some of the text here. You want to introduce your brand, how you began and what your main goal is for your brand. Then under image behavior, I'll be applying the zoom in on scroll. And as you can see, that's gonna add a subtle zoom in animation. Before we move on to the next section of this about us page, I'd recommend creating a shortcut on the homepage of your website that leads to your about us page. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so you're gonna open up your website and you're gonna click add section and I'll be importing an image banner. I'd recommend putting this somewhere midway in your website. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. You can retitle the heading to say about us. Then you can put a mini snippet of some text about your brand. I'm gonna remove this second button label and I'll be retitling this first button label, read more. Then under button link, you can link this to that new about us page. Then when you click on the image banner, I'll be uploading a background image for this section. Then under image behavior, I'm gonna set this to the zoom in on scroll. And this way you can create a mini shortcut to your about us page here on your homepage. By the way, if you are interested in this demo website I'm using, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I put together this pre-made Shopify website template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. This is available on my store, so I'll link that in the description box below. I also have many other types of Shopify theme templates for many types of businesses, including clothing, cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping and print-on-demand businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. All right, and to continue this about us page, I'll be adding a similar section to this one right below it. To add a centered title, first I'm gonna import a rich text and here I'll be removing this button label and removing the description. And this section is going to highlight the quality that the brand offers. I'm gonna import an image with text and for this one, I'll be positioning the image to the right side. Again, you can retitle this button label if you would like and insert a link. For now, I'll be removing this and I'll also be removing this heading. Then you can put in some more of your brand description text. Then under image is where you can upload a picture for this section. I'll just be uploading a picture of an example product and under image behavior, I'll be applying that zoom in on scroll. This next step is gonna be perfect for if you have a joint business or a team that you would like to feature. Here I'll be inserting a multi-column section. First I'll be removing this heading text. Then I'll be duplicating this rich text. 
then position it above that multi column. When you scroll down, this is where you can edit the button label. If you want, you can title this contact us and link it to your contact page. I'll be removing this label. Then I'm also going to remove the secondary background. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four to display four team members. Under column alignment, this will be for the text. You can center this. And for the mobile view, first off, I'll be enabling the swipe on mobile. This way customers will be able to swipe through. And you can also choose to display two columns. This way you'll have close to three of these columns in frame. When you click on a column, under heading is where you can type in the name for the team member and some brands put the job title. And you can just repeat that for these remaining columns. Under description is where you can write a mini description of that team member, or you can also write their passions regarding the brand and regarding their job position. Under image is where you can upload the icon pictures for each of those team members. This is an optional step, so if you don't want to include pictures, you don't have to. Then when you click on this multi-column section, you can leave the pictures as is if you would like. And you can also resize the images. So right under image ratio, you can set this to portrait if you would like the pictures to display more vertical. Or you can also set it to circle if you would like those circle icon pictures. Under image width is where you can display the sizing of the pictures. Right now this is set to full width of column, but you can set this to half width of column or one third of column. And so far here is the display of the about us page. Next, I'll be showing you how to add that FAQs section. There's many different ways you can import an FAQs section. My favorite way would be to import a collapsible content. This will allow customers to be able to click on each row and see the displayed question and the answer. You can title this FAQs or frequently asked questions. Then under layout, I'll be applying a row container. This will apply that container color scheme to each individual row. If you want a more minimal appearance, you can also just apply the section container. Or to minimize the section, you can just remove the container overall. When you click on one of these collapsible rows, first off under icon, you can set this to a different type of icon. I'll be applying the question mark icon since this is in relation to a question. Then under heading is where you can type in one of your frequently asked questions. And under row content, this is where you can type in your answer. You can also select a page to feature. So for an example, if you're referencing one of your policy pages, you can select to include a snippet of that policy page. And here's how this row is going to appear when a customer clicks on it. And another option is when you click on this collapsible content, you can also select to open the first collapsible row just so that customers will know to click on these rows to see the answers. And another option that you have is right under image layout, you can upload a picture to put next to this FAQs section. Here is an example. Under image ratio, you can adjust the display of the size of the picture. Under desktop layout, you can choose to put the image on the left or on the right. Below this section, I'll be putting a mid-roll banner to feature some more information about the brand. First, I'll be importing an image banner. And here, I'm going to first remove this container on desktop. Then I'm going to remove the container on mobile. Okay, then I'm going to retitle this heading text. Then for the description, I'll be inserting some more information about the brand. And also, if you would like to adjust the text style, you can set this to subtitle or uppercase text if you would like. You can link these button labels if you would like, but I'll be removing both of these. Then you can go ahead and insert your background picture for this section. Then under image behavior, I'm going to apply the zoom in on scroll. And that's how you can add another little section to feature some more information about your brand. And don't forget, if you would like to adjust the size of this banner section, right under banner height, you can set this to adapt to first image. That way this section will fit the dimensions of the entire picture you uploaded, or you can set it to small if you would like a thinner banner appearance. And for the last two sections, these two are optional, but I would highly recommend that you include these in your about us page. First off, I'll be importing a contact form. Okay, so to get that centered title, I'm gonna take this rich tag section and I'll just be duplicating this and moving it to the bottom of the page. You can title this however you would like. I'll just be putting have a question, contact us. Then right below that, you can actually just import a default contact form. For this, I'll be removing the heading text and you can also change the section color scheme if you would like. This way, as customers are scrolling through and getting information on your brand, if they have a question, they can contact you right here. I would recommend ending your About Us page with some kind of call to action to promote people back to the shop section of your website or just to promote customers back to where they can shop your products. First off, I'll be importing an image banner. I'm going to remove this heading text along with the description text. Then I'll be removing the container on desktop and I'm going to remove the second button label. I'll be titling this first button label Shop Now. Then you can link it to one of your collection pages or to all of your products. 
When you click on the image banner, under desktop content position, I'll be setting this to bottom center. This way it will display the button label at the very bottom of the banner. Okay, I'll be creating that ending banner here using Canva. First off, you're gonna open up your canvas. You're gonna click elements and then grids. And here I'll just be uploading a three grid. This way you'll be able to upload a collage of three pictures in a row. You can increase the grid spacing, but personally I'll be removing that. When you click uploads, then upload files, you can upload any of your brand pictures straight from your computer. And you'll just want to drag and drop those onto the page. I'm gonna import an ombre element. Then you can also feature a picture of your logo and I would recommend having your logo in a PNG format. Once you're finished, you're just gonna click save, then click this download button, and I would recommend downloading your banner in a PNG format for the best quality. Back here on Shopify, you're gonna click on that image banner, and under first image is where you can upload your new banner design. Under banner height, I'll be setting this to adapt to first image, and here's how that is going to display on desktop. And also here's how this section is gonna display on mobile. All right, and here's the finished about us page. And also here's how the demo section looks on the homepage of the website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.